ape family. Now you can tell the difference between a monkey and an ape by looking at their backsides, all right? Now take a look at Gilligan, that's his name right there. His backside right there, he's missing something. He's missing a long tail, all right? Apes have no tails. Monkeys have tails, right? In fact, I ask for a monkey, I get a little tiny ape and a bigger one wearing pants. Okay, I'm just oh. kidding. Monkey from the spine, but need everyone to follow me. Put your hands up in the air. Everybody hands up. Wave them around. I go, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Come on, you can do it. There it is. Like right, the right there, that is boy, our spider monkey. Let's look at his three hands on tail. You know, you have to find a monkey, spare you your hands on feet. Just that trusty tail that made it have to jump far away from you just by hanging off those tails. That's right, that prehensile tail can support their entire body weight. And you know what? They're called spider monkeys because when they hang from that tail, with those long arms and long legs, they look like a spider hanging in their web. And boy, he's going to demonstrate this uh, long prehensile tail here in just a second. Here he goes. All the way down. Alright, there he goes. Look at that boy. He's gonna head back down. Bye bye, boys. Bye, bye, boys. Good job, boy. Okay, she waits up a bit. You're leaving too. Uh, stay dry. Uh, now, well, monkeys like to hang out in the trees, run across pines. My next friends, they're not only just at home in land, but they're also very much at home inside the water. Now, their falls are very hard to make, so it's very hard to fall them out. But it's gonna take just a little bit of magic to get them to come out here. Any kids out there believe in magic? Any Harry Potter fans or anything like that? No kids believe in magic. No kids want to come down here and help me call out my two next friends. Ah! Rufus! Come here. Ah, my elephant trumpeter. He's very excited to help me out today. Just him? Anybody else? Young lady? You want to come down also for me? All right, all the way down here. Good, I got the little ones today. Hopefully you can reach, okay? All right. You want to come down also? You don't want to come down now. You want to down there, but you want to come down. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. Come on, then. Give them a round of applause, all right, these little guys. All right, come over here. Stand right here. Okay, see, I want you to face this glass panel. Turn around, face the water. Right there. Okay, well, oh, you guys are just barely crawling up. Now, we're going to have to really concentrate, work the magic, and get these animals to come out. What I want you to do is put your hands out over the top of the water like this. Put your hands out over the top of the water. Now, when I count to three, all right? When I got three, I want you to slap the water. Like that. Yeah. All right? Let's practice. Put your hand out. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Uh, they look like they hurt. Did you guys hear that? Didn't hear it, right? Well, if you guys didn't hear that, then my friends didn't hear it either. So we're going to help out these guys, all right? We need a lot of magic to make this work. When they slap the water, I want you all to just clap one time, all right? When they slap you all, when they slap you, yeah. excellent. Put your hands up, back over the top of water. We're going to do it for real this time. Everybody hands up, here we go, ready? One, two, three, hit it. Yeah. All right, stop, wait, look, where? There they are. Oh, well, they are Simon and Theo, Asian small clock artists. Well, the Asian small clock otter is the smallest of the 16 species of otters in the world. Huh? At least I have to thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. You've done an excellent job coming up the audience. Good job. Wait a minute. Did you say that the Asian small pot otter is the smallest of 16 species of otter? Aw, oh, they're just little guys, right? Now you guys are holding the water. My next one is that. Hey. Bye. What was that? What? No, I just saw something running around in the bushes behind us. There it is. <laughs> Oh, that's Helga with Big Tail for Cat. Seems like she's going to be plucking some coconuts. Going to pluck some coconuts? Well, Big Tail Cat's like Helga can be found in jungles of Southeast Asia. Oh, oh. very fast, Helga. Oh, I mean, it works, yeah. Now, Big Tail for Cat's like Helga, they're using coconut plantations to pluck coconuts. Now, believe it or not, they can pluck 100 coconuts in a single hour. Give uh, Helga a nice round of applause for one of our uh, oldest members here at Short Park. Thank you very much, Helga. Kevin, I think I'll catch up with Helga right now. Are you going to go catch up with Helga? All right, great. Yeah. We've had some fun.
fun with our primates and around these are cute little otters as well. They're very furry, uh, they're very cuddly looking, uh, but my next friend I'm going to bring out happens to be my personal favorite. And unfortunately, he's got a very bad reputation. He's not very cute, he's not very cuddly, depends on how you look at it. Some people think that they're wet and slimy, some people even think they're evil, bad tempered, will fight you with very little warning. Anybody have any guesses of what that might be? What's wet, slimy, grumpy, fighting, very little warning? I'm not talking about little brothers and little sisters. Okay? Anybody? Nobody? What? What? Did you say snail? The seals, like swim in the water seals, pretty close, but I think they're more furry, not really wet, slimy. Did somebody say snake? Did somebody say snake? Did you say snake? Where? There's a snake over here? You're right, it is a snake. You know what? Snakes like dark, cool places, like inside bags and things like that. Now, where is a cool, dark place? And sometimes you can find them in graves. Right? A tunnel, a cave. This is cool and dark. Let me see. I might be able to find one of my friends in here somewhere. Hey, where is he? Hello? That thing. Nobody back here? Hello? Hello? Hey! Where is my snake? I don't see my snake anywhere. Hey, wait a minute. Look inside this hole over here. Ah, there he is. I got him. Now he's not that big. He's actually very small. Uh, happens to be one of the smallest. <laughs> uh, happens to be one of the smallest pieces of pythons in the world. This is Caesar. He's a ball python. Touch! Come in! Come in! Touch! Touch! Is he wet and slimy? Is he wet and slimy? You know what, touch? Tell me. Is he wet and slimy or is he smooth and dry? Smooth and dry, right. Now they only appear wet and slimy because snakes have a natural gloss on their scales that makes them appear wet. Now ball pythons come from Africa. And like I said, being one of the smallest pieces of pythons in the world, this is about as big as he's going to get. What are you doing? You're trying, you're trying to find what Mona Lisa, that's a painting. Is it a ball pipe or a ball pistol? Oh, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, everybody needs to sit down. Hold on, hold on, serious. Everybody needs to sit down. Uh, my colleague media here just told me we're missing a snake. Another one, guys, you can sit. This one's serious, this one's very serious. It's bigger than this one. It's a red-tailed boa constrictor. They come from Central and South America, and they are among the largest species of snakes in the world. She said we put it out, and it got away. So everybody, please, like I said, they like dark places. Look behind your legs, under your seats. Look inside your bags. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's somewhere around here. Uh, this is not the greatest snake in the world to lose. Um, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Now, let me see here, you have a pipe. 